Hey everybody, it's me, Trey. The other day, I was going through my closet and I realized that I had my art portfolio in there and I was looking through all this old stuff that I used to do in high school and I was like, oh my gosh, like I really, 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 really miss doing art. Like, I'm just a very creative person and I like to express myself in different ways. One of the ways being YouTube and making videos, but I also love to do art and I love to paint and I love to draw and I like to make stuff. And so I just thought it would be cool to like revisit my old high school days in art class and like show you guys my art. So I'm gonna go from like ugliest, what I think is ugliest, to like my most proud moment. The first one is this one. We used to do like, we used to have to do like different styles of art. So this was like dotting art, I guess. It's, I don't know what you call it. But we had Q-tips and like we dip it in, dip it in the paint and like dot everything. And so like it's a high heel with like a vase with like a flower pot in it and stuff. And yeah, I mean, I'm not like super proud of it, but like I really love all the colors, like it's super colorful. So this is like a woman, and we had to play with like cool tones and warm tones, and so I made her face super, super, super warm and just like inviting, and then I made her hair like super cool, like a super cool effect. But I don't think it turned out the way I wanted it to, because it doesn't look like that at all. It's like super mediocre. <laughs> My third one is this white charcoal. I, n I did not like drawing with charcoal. It's so hard. I didn't like it at all. That's a seahorse and it's like under the sea and the ocean floor and stuff. That's my seahorse. This one is absolutely terrifying. I had to get a picture of myself and like paint it and like do the background. And I love the background because it's suns and stuff. And if anybody knows what Steven Universe is, that's the sign. That's me. And I'm gonna zoom in because look how terrifying that face is. If anybody's seen it and that kid that's afraid of the picture, imagine seeing that. This was a portrait we had to do in class of this one guy who had to sit in front of the class. There was a lot of detail on his shirt though and everything and he was holding like horns. So that was very challenging and I tried to make it as realistic as possible. And that was the best that I could do. I was really proud of this one just because it stands for, it says feminist and blood. And it's like a woman who has her mouth taped and her hands tied. Because if you're a feminist, everybody thinks you're crazy, but it's not. Being a feminist means believing in the equality of men and women. Obviously, there's extremists who like push it totally to the edge and stuff. And like give it a bad name, but in all reality, it's just people who believe in the equality of men and women. But not being able to voice their opinion because everybody doesn't believe in the same thing. I really like this one a lot, even though it's not the best that I did, but it's a Native American man because that's my heritage and I have Native American blood in my blood system, Cahuilla and Navajo, and so I just really wanted to do this because, you know, it's my ancestry. Super cool though, I really loved it, it was super challenging. So they cut like half of the picture and then I had to draw like freehand the other half and try to make it as realistic as possible. And it was really hard. I did this one, which is supposed to be Rapunzel. And so like that's Rapunzel and I did like the layers of her hair, all different colors and I put flowers in it and stuff. And then all of these things are like lanterns all around her. If anybody's ever seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is like my Disney one that I did. And I was really, 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 really proud of this. And I got an A on it. So, I mean, it's not the best, but I was like super happy about it. I think it came out super pretty. And I had to cut out all the, like these are all individual pieces of paper that I painted and then cut out and then like glued it all together. Oh, and then there's this one because I just paint for fun sometimes. And so I did this one of Bambi, if you guys can see. I love Disney and I was so proud of this. I know it's probably like really shiny though, but yeah. I did drew Bambi and I painted it and stuff and look how cute it came out. I love this. I had to do paint splatters and like blow it through like a straw and like created this effect and then I drew myself in the bottom right here. That's me when I had short hair. I just really like that one because it's like my personality is very fiery and it's very bright and just out there and I feel like this perfectly like explains me. Like it's wild and crazy but it's really like in your face. And then my most proud achievement that I ever painted was this. I was so proud of myself because this is a half painting so starting from here all the way right here is all paper and then I painted all of this 
and it like came out super realistic and super amazing and super pretty and I was just honestly so proud of myself because I took a long time on this project just because I wanted to make it as realistic as possible and I think it turned out like super amazing. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of showing my art to you guys. I know it's not like the most important thing but I just wanted to showcase to you guys that I have other hobbies and other talents that I don't really talk about. If you guys have art that you guys want to show me, post it on Instagram and tag me in it so I can see what you guys are all about because art is beautiful and I appreciate the art so much because that's always been my life and what I've always been attracted to. I hope you guys have an amazing day and don't forget to love yourself. Bye.